Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mr. Ayala, and I'm your student's seventh grade civics advanced teacher here at Odyssey Junior Senior High. So welcome to my open house and a little bit of information about myself. So hopefully I can help clarify any questions or concerns you may have have about my course. So first thing, kind of uh, want to look at my, my teaching philosophy. So this is usually found on every email. And I want everyone to understand this is the reason I teach. It's to educate and inform the whole mass of the people. They are the only sure reliance for the preservation of our liberty by Thomas Jefferson. So the reason I teach, the reason I do what I do is to ensure that all of my students have the ability to be educated and continue this great nation to continue this form of a constitutional republic. Because one of the things that, you know, we've got to be aware of the only way that we keep our republic is if our children and the next generations are educated. And I'm here to help with that. That is my purpose. So a little bit about me. So a few things, a little bit about my education. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna move myself around. Whee, so you can see a little bit better. Uh, so I went, to, uh, I went to O'Galley High School. I graduated in 2005. So I am a, a, a local uh, for this area. I have a, an Associate's Arts from Brevard Community College, which is now Eastern State University. I also have a Bachelor's of Science in Social Science Education with a focus on comparative politics from the University of Central Florida. I graduated uh, with above a 3.0. My certifications are 6 through 12 Social Science Education, so I can teach anything from civics to ancient history to psychology, sociology, economics, and I'm also K-12 gifted educated. Uh, certified. So I'm here to help our gifted and advanced students better their abilities to think, to study, and to get further along in their life. So a little bit more about myself. So uh, I've been teaching over 12 years. Um, I've been here at Odyssey Junior Senior High for a little bit over nine. I'm at, at the moment, I'm the team uh, lead for seventh grade. So if there's any issues, uh, you know, always in seventh grade, always feel, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help yet again. Uh, some bit of my prior experiences, I'm the Founders Awardee, uh, Teacher of the Year for the school year 2020-2021. That was last year. I've been the eighth grade team lead uh, for multiple years off and on. And I've also been the social science department head, and I'm also the founder of the Odyssey Charter Junior Senior Student Government, which is now ran by my esteemed colleague, colleague Mr. Pagel. Love that dude. Um, and then a little bit more about my own personal self. Uh, so some of my hobbies and my interests, I'm going to put my head right here. Why not? Uh, so I... I I, I have been married. I, I'm married to my high school sweetheart uh, for over 10 years now. Um, I spent a lot of time with my wife and my son. That's like my favorite things to do. Uh, I really, really love being a family man. I love the garden. Uh, I have lots of fruit trees on my property. Uh, there's actually an orange tree right here. Um, it's either an orange or a grapefruit. I've got like 13 of them on my little pieces of property. Uh, I like to read a lot. I, right now I'm reading uh, Marcus Aurelius' Meditations. Um, always got to do some self-improvement. I play a lot of computer games. I build PCs. Uh, and if you look in the upper left, that's actually my rig from this morning when uh, my son and I were coloring and um, I was doing some work. So, you know, always feel free to reach out uh, if you, you know, have anything that you want to discuss. So from there, um, a little bit about the course. So the description of this course is that it pertains to the principles, functions, and organization of the United States government, which includes the origins of the American political system, uh, the roles, rights, and responsibilities of citizens, and methods of active participation in our political system. Uh, it's embedded with both a strong geographic, aka mapping where things are located, and economics components. You know, the whole idea of taxation policy, uh, tariffs, import, export tax, uh, income taxes, uh, all these different type of uh, nuances that's embedded in our political system. And I'm here to introduce that to your students. Also, be aware that civics course is your student's first EOC, uh, which means that at the end of the school year, they take a, a very high end stakes testing, 30% of their overall grade, and it absolutely must be passed 
prior to going on to high school. So just be aware of why at times uh, this class will be very strict on certain items, in particular due dates, um, because we have a specific end of course examination that must be passed by all students so that they can get to high school. Um, Odyssey Junior Senior High was in the top 10% of all schools last year. Uh, so I know that our students this year can do the same. So just a little bit of the course outline. I'm going to move my face again. Um, we so, sorry, I, I kind of can't help it. Uh, so quarter one, we started with introductions uh, to my course procedures, origins of American government, in particular enlightenment philosophy from Montesquieu, Locke, and Hobbes, uh, the social contract, uh, also the background in the Magna Carta, English Bill of Rights, and uh, Mayflower Compact. We went to the Americans declare independence, what forced the United States to declare independence from Britain and what was broken uh, through the social contract and other, um, and for other laws and norms created by the British government. Then we're talking about the story of the Constitution. Now we started off with the Articles of Confederation, and from, then we go to into the United States Constitution, what all the different articles of the U.S. Constitution are, the three major, major branches, including in quarter two, the Congress and its powers, the presidency and its powers, the federal law, uh, the federal court system, pardon me, the judicial branch, rule of law, what that actually represents, uh, various Supreme Court cases, uh, quarter three, federalism, federal, state, and local governments about how they interact and fight amongst each other, obligations and responsibilities of our citizens, political parties and elections, interest groups and the media, and uh, at the end of quarter three, public policy. Uh, quarter four, we continue with public policy, uh, types of government from socialism to authoritarianism to the theocracies and oligarchies, uh, American foreign policy, what we look for as a nation when we deal with policies outside of the United States, our Secretary of State in particular, and then information to review for the EUC prior to the end of the school year. All right, let's see if we want to work. Yay, some curriculum. So um, curriculum, we have our book here, our Gateway to American Government, which all students were able to take home, a pocket U.S. Constitution, which is going to be needed for review, and then mini cues in uh, civics as we get further and further in this course. I'm going to be having students dig into primary and secondary sources about major co uh, topics and help them learn how to think help them be able to pull apart and be able to articulate their wants and needs through data and other pieces of information. Uh, some other idea, some other curriculum includes Edpuzzle, which is mostly homework um, and a lot of videos, and iCivics, which are mostly handouts given into classes. So, so for the things that a lot of people really want to know. So grades, grades are point based. So uh, that means the more points, the heavier it is weighted and it's more worth your time. Tests or projects are 100, quizzes are 10 to 30, bell works 5 to 20, uh, excuse me, classwork homework 5 to 20 points, and bell work is usually 10 to 20 points. Um, so late work. So I am a history teacher. Uh, due dates are extremely important to me, uh, and it's something that I believe everyone in society needs to learn, and it's better to learn it in middle school than in uh, high school or beyond when you're worrying about things like electricity being turned off. So let's start here with the basics. So I do give ample time to complete assignments. If needed, I always shift them around. Your uh, students are responsible for completing it on time. Uh, so homework, lecture notes, and due dates can always be found on Canvas. And late work will be accepted up to five days late with a reduction of 10% per day. So finding information or for student help. So mostly you need to make sure that you have class link. Uh, so the web address is shown. It has access to Canvas where you can find your individual course information, items, due dates, uh, agendas for the week. Grades are always found on focus. I do understand Canvas has a grade component, but all grades must be put in focus, and that's what is uh, given to the state, so that is our main way to give grades as well. Uh, you may also find access to the Office Suite through ClassLink, things like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneDrive, and any other Microsoft applications. So from there, uh, find, so more things, tutoring, makeup, and test uh, retake opportunities are every Wednesday morning starting at 8 a.m. Just ask for a pass, come up, take a quiz or test, and boom, you're done. If you need help with tutoring, just tell me what you need uh, me to review, and I got gotcha. you. 
Uh, you can also make up these tests or quizzes on uh, Finish Friday or Success Saturday. Just let me know what you want in there a day or two prior so I can make sure it's actually put in there for the appropriate people. And if you need even more tutoring other than my Wednesday or my videos or my Canvas, you can also uh, go to Success Saturday where there will be a, a certified teacher to help to assist as well. So if you need a parent-teacher conference for any, any reason, Email is usually the best stop, so first reach out to the teacher VI email, and maybe we can problem solve through there. If not, the 7th grade team is available by appointment every Tuesday morning at 8.15 a.m. This can be done on person or VI Zoom. Just send an email, and the team lead, which happens to be this guy, would reach out to you uh, as well. So uh, speaking about my email, that's the best way to contact me. My email is ayalar at odysseychartschool.com. I usually respond uh, within two school or business days, kind of depending. So just understand you send me an email Friday. I'll probably get back to you Monday or Tuesday, about two school days. And as always, if you have any concerns or issues, please reach out to me. And as always, don't forget to be awesome.